Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today, guys. Well, let me make it very, very clear. Barca and Xavi have a very, very important game on the horizon. And it really is because many people may say, well, it's only Alaves at home. You know, what can go wrong? What can we learn from this kind of game? But look, it was only Shakhtar in midweek. This is a game here that will show us if Barca are serious. Are they going to give us a reaction? Are we going to see any change in the performance? performances that we've been seeing and especially don't forget just before an international break I think the timing of this game is absolutely crucial because we can't afford for this crisis feeling to linger to spread now across two more weeks of the international break because if we don't see improvements if we don't see a reaction the pressure at this club it will not stop but here's the thing and here's the really intriguing thing now ahead of this game and looking at Chaffee's press conference today, has Xavi found the problem? Has he identified some of the issues that we've been facing, especially looking at the attacking side of our game, the real problems we've had in front of goal? And I've got to be honest, guys, even the fact today that we're going to talk about Xavi discussing our problems, discussing the fact that, you know what, we do have an issue. We are now aware of it. We're trying to learn from it. That actually gives me a bit of hope here that that Shakhtar defeat gave us a wake-up call. And that is a wake-up call, by the way, that we've needed for a long, long time. Now, I would even say maybe stretching back to last season, whereby we were coasting through games. We weren't really showing a lot of hunger, a lot of intensity in our play. We had a lot of 1-0 wins. We were papering over the cracks in many ways. And you would actually often hear Chaffee saying, well, you know, the team's doing okay. We're playing quite well. Things aren't maybe falling for us. We're a bit unlucky. But in general, everything's fine. Everything's okay. We don't have any problems. And I just think now, to hear the shift in the way that he was talking today, maybe, just maybe, the defeat against Shakhtar, it's given everybody at this club a much-needed reality check. Because in his press conference today, Chaffee was in fairly defiant mood. He said, we want to get back to our game and recover the good sensations. He said, if we stay true to our identity and do things the right way, the results will come. We have to push ourselves to the maximum because this is Barca. So real emphasis there already on the identity and staying true to that, which in my opinion, we have not been doing. We have not been anywhere even close to the identity of this club. But when you're looking at recent performances, we have to get back to that and urgently. And he said the players are ready. They are mentally prepared now to bounce back. This is a fantastic group, Xavi. Very complimentary of the players that he has. That I've been in a lot of locker rooms. And this one is the healthiest and most united I've ever seen. We are all highly motivated. So he said everybody is together. There's no divisions. There's no lack of trust there right now. We are all pulling in the same direction. And that should see us have... A team that's ready to bounce back. A team here that is ready to improve. But then he went on to say, we have detected the issue. He said, we have to get back to positional play. And to be more meticulous than ever, he said the number nine, the interiors, the pivots. He said, that positional play, that is how we will get better. So real emphasis there on two things. Number one, Xavi identifies the problem. He has seen something in our game and he believes that positional play will help us improve in the attacking areas of the field. Because then he went on to say, talking about Lewandowski, he said, for example, Lewandowski is affected by the lack of positional play. He said, we haven't attacked well. We haven't found Robert with passes like we used to. And he said again, I assure you, it's a lack of positional play. So it's interesting here that all of a sudden now, Chavi has just thought, okay, what's going wrong? What is not working? Because like I say, we were coasting. How long would we have gone on just repeating the same mistakes, not really learning, not really looking to change anything before that defeat? But now that's why it's important. He believes their positional play will bring us back. But what exactly is that? Well, when you're talking about positional play, particularly in the attacking areas of the field, you want to have players taking up specific zones that have been worked on there, players in specific places that have been trained and drilled on the training ground.
ground. And the idea is basically that you create an attacking setup that provides you with opportunities to create overloads, to actually pressure the opposition in a specific place by having several players in that area. Everybody knows where they're supposed to be. And what you can do then, you can have triangles, you can have diamonds, you can actually play around your opponent and actually see some combination play. When have we seen that? Honestly, throughout the entire time as Chavi as a coach, we haven't seen that consistently. Now, that is something we've always needed. That is the identity of Barca, because then you start to see cohesion in the final third. Things start to look a bit more practiced. You start to see patterns of play, which can be repeated, and you can stick and come back to the plan, even in difficult and tricky moments in the game. And the idea is, is that the man in possession of the ball, the man carrying the ball forward there, can actually look up, and he already knows where the options are going to be, where he's going to have an opportunity to open things up, and there should be several different passing options available to the man on the ball, rather than right now. The ball carrier looks up at Barca, what does he see? He sees no movement, he sees no players there actually in specific zones, it's all a bit of a mess, it's all random, and that's exactly what it looks like on the field, we've spoken about our attacking play, nothing is calculated, nothing is repeated, we don't have a go-to pattern of play, it's just go out there, hope something happens, hope space appears, and it's all going to happen by magic, no, you have to make it happen, that's what positional play is, that's what Chaffee needs to bring back, but of course, guys, the biggest question of all now is not just recognising it, not just talking about it, not just saying, OK, this is what's going to bring us back. It's implementing it. There are very few coaches in the world that at the very highest level can do this. Can Xavi do it? Can we see him put his stamp on a team here, have authority over the group that he's assembled and actually convey the ideas that he wants to? Because I believe the ideas are in there. We all know Xavi as a player. We all know the footballing brain that he had. And certainly as a coach, there have been flashes, but he needs to convey those ideas. He needs to explain them. He needs to work on them in training with his players. And on Sunday, we're going to see it. It's going to be so, so fascinating whether we notice any difference. Things can't be done overnight here, but please put us back on the right track. Please show us something here, some glimmer of hope so that we can try again to get back the Barca we want to see. Because it really is an important game on Sunday, guys. It truly, truly is here. Because even when you're looking at the lead table right now, Girona are in action as I speak here. They are at the top of the league. But Barca, they're not far behind. You look at Real Madrid, they dropped points last weekend. We're very, very close to them, even despite losing in the Clasico. And that's why it's all still there to play for. You know, we are still in the title race. We are still in the Champions League. If we can find a way to turn this around, actually find a way to get the performance is back where we belong, this season can still be good for us. We can still make progress here and now, but it all starts on Sunday. We must see a change. We must see some sort of reaction and go back to our roots. Go back to our identity. Enough with the talking. Enough with the promises. Now is the time for action. Do let me know, guys, in the comments down below. What do you make there of Xavi's assessment of our problems? Do you believe that positional play can help us improve the performances? Do you believe that can be implemented by Xavi in this team? Do let me know all of your thoughts ahead of Sunday's game against Alaves. I will see you after it for the reaction. Thank you indeed for joining me, guys, and for all of your support here. But until next time, as always, Vizca. Yeah, I'll bust